Hello everybody on YouTube and on the NFL YouTube prognosticators and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about the Super Bowl and my post-Super Bowl uh, video and whatever you want to call it and everything. But, all I gotta say is another NFL season has come and gone. We're on to focus on next season for the NFL season, but there's a lot going on to that, you know. But I thought I would tell you face to face instead of doing it on a podcast. So, I mean, that's how I feel about it. I mean, especially to the Eagle standpoint for Eagle fans out there, I want to, to especially to my good fellow NFL YouTube prognosticators TJ Herman and the uh, New Jack. So I gotta give a shout out to the both of them. Say congratulations to Eagles fans, and I gotta tip my hat off to you guys. So, tip my hat off to you guys on that. But the way it played out wasn't meant to be. I just I guess in my stand as a fan as the Patriots, for the Eagles, it just wasn't meant to be. It was just meant to be to happen. Do I really think the, pa the Eagles were better than the Patriots? No. Do I really think the Patriots were the far better team than the, than the Eagles? Possibly, yeah. So, I didn't think the um, Eagles were going to beat up the Tom Brady and the Patriots, but they beat them up. So, it was just this case scenario, it was just meant to be. It was just one of those meant-to-be teams. They were the team of destiny. And it just turned out to play that way. So, But, I, I mean, I gotta say, it was as long as it wasn't the Giants again, I didn't really care. But but this was the Eagles' first championship since in 58 years. So that was a... No, 57 years, I believe. So, it was, excuse me. So, the, one, of the, one of the longest droughts in NFL history, though. They haven't won a championship since 1960, beating Vince Lombardi's Packers. No, my, my standard, 1960. But this is the first championship in Philadelphia and since the 2008 Philadelphia Phillies. So, I'm going to give kudos to the Phillies for that. They're giving their first championship. And the Eagles are not a snake-bitten franchise anymore. So, so I got to give props to the Eagles fans for that. And a lot of props for that. So, hey, what can you say about that? But, a lot of, but there's a lot of questions going on in the offseason for both teams. Especially on the Patriots side. On the defense, what the hell are they going to do with Malcolm Butler? Because he didn't play last night. He was emotional in the National Anthem. He didn't play on defense. He was just on special teams. They, they, Belichick was questioning. Was um, going to sit him out. So I was thinking, what what's going on in this one? So I'm like, but what I'm thinking is, is one Patriot, who's going to go? Malcolm Butler's it. So I think that's the one Patriot who's going to go. is going to be Malcolm Butler. But in my point of view, if the Patriots want to get back to the Super Bowl next year, I think the best bet is to fix their corner situation. I think that's been their big problem since um, since uh, Daryl Revis left here to go back to the New York Jets. So we need a corner uh, uh, guy. We need a, a corner guy who can do um, a lot of damage on the corner side. And... You know, don't no, 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 get me wrong, Devin McCourty, he did pretty good, you know, I mean, that just um, Nick Foles was just on, outplayed Tom Brady, uh, excuse me, Brady, excuse me, came out, but it was just meant to be for Brady, I, I didn't think um, Nick Foles was going to outdo Tom Brady, I think, Tom, personally, I think Brady had a decent game, though, but, you know, that defense was just bad for us last night, I gotta say, was there a ticky-tacky calls? In the second, in the second half, yeah, 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 in a way, yeah. I mean, one catch was like similar to the Jesse James catch. With it, could have been an incomplete pass, so it could have could have gone either way. So you couldn't decide. It was like one of those ticky tacky you could put on situations like that. But in the, I forget what I think it was the third quarter when they broke the plane or something like that. It just you didn't get into the end zone. Call it a touchdown or something like that. But anyways, they called it a touchdown for that. But, yeah, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to cry and complain about it. I'm just, I want to give you thoughts about those calls. Whether, do you think they were ticky-tacky, should have been incomplete, or anything like that? Yeah, let me know. But, it, but now what I'm saying about Philadelphia, it's going to happen to Philadelphia in the offseason. Are they going to stick with Nick Foles? Or they're going to go with Carson Wentz. So I believe there's going to be a quarterback controversy going on in the offseason. What's going to happen to that point? So They're all going to say, what if um, Carson Wentz played 
what would they would have done? So now they now the Eagles have a tough situation. You got Nick Foles, who's a decent quarterback, who had decent runs in Philadelphia, and of course he didn't have a great career in um, St. Louis and Los Angeles, whatever he was, and then. All of a sudden, though, he went to Kansas City and played for Andy Reid. He was cut. And then he comes back here. So that, you got to, that's an amazing story for that. But the question is, what's going to happen? Because I believe there's a quarterback controversy going on in Philadelphia this coming offseason. So they're out. Philadelphia's going to have to make a decision at that offseason. Or maybe at night, around next season, around training camp next year. So that's something you got to keep an eye on Philadelphia, what they're going to do. So. My point of view in this, I think this is going to be a ticky-tacky situation for Philadelphia, what they're going to be rolling on with this. So, that could go either way. But, it is, it is what it is. But, what they should do in the um, other ones in the offseason is get more offensive linemen. For them. I think, kind of notice, they're offensive linemen. I mean, well, a little bit on the like the right left side of the field. It's like, eh. But, the, like, the right side of the uh, offensive tackles are not that bad, but, you know. But that was a key momentum. They, they protect Nick Foles last night. They really did. But, just what wasn't meant to be. But, personally, I think they, they need a couple of situations going on in Philadelphia, and like, on defense, too, personally. But, like, a linebacker, they can use, we could use a linebacker, too. So, but, personally, I'd rather have a cornerback than a draft. But, eh, it is what it is on that standpoint of view, so... Whew. But, in all in all, it was a great game. I'm not going to lie. I was entertained left and right. Uh, halftime show? Yeah. I watched it because I was with somebody last night. With the friends, you know, they wanted to watch it. I said I'll watch it with them, so... Yeah. I said that, but... Personally, I'm about the halftime show. We need somebody like Ozzy, Talica, things like that on there. That's me, personally. <laughs> yeah, but... It is what it is with that, you know. I'm not gonna complain about the halftime show, but, but, I but I have a lot. But we have um, XFL coming up in the next the next couple of years. So they have right now. They're having eight teams in eight major cities. Personally, I heard the latest four is San Diego, Birmingham, Alabama, Pittsburgh, and I can't think of the other one. I believe it was um, Orlando. Like, as far as the latest four teams go, but honestly, I just hope the XFL, I, I believe if the XFL is going to work this time, they got to, don't bring characters, don't bring any of the um, contracts, what they do with money or anything like that. If they got to change like an actual football broadcast like they do with Fox and CBS and NBC. Well, it depends who, what, what network they're going to put it on, but. They gotta be a, not a wrestling show like M Mr. McMahon just done in 2001. Which, that was a, a failure in a heartbeat. But, if they need to succeed this time around, they have they bring no characters. Get rid of the um, scrap. But, that's how we gotta work. But, how I feel about it, it's kind of a mixed emotion for me. At the same time, I wanna see it to see how it goes this time. But the other part of me, it's like, uh, I don't know about this. But but players I could see in the XFL, Colin Kaepernick, Johnny Manziel, just to name a couple, you know. Yeah, just a couple of players, like those two. I could see those two have been playing the XFL. But they said they have to stand up in the National Anthem. Right now, I'm fine with that, you know, it is what it is, but... Hey, and then Mr. McMahon is trying to do what is best for business, I guess. But that's how I feel about the XFL right now. It's kind of a mixed emotion for me about that. But it is what it is, I guess. But, you know, but like I said, they need to fix what they need to do. No characters. No, um, ce no, I don't mind celebrations. I mean, I mean, you get celebrations like that all the time. And I think the NFL needs to fix that a little bit more. But, hey, my opinion. But, but, um,. I also think they should probably at least do the commentary, actually call a football broadcast, not call these silly things like you don't need us to tell you that or anything like he has like he has a monkey on his ass or anything like that. I mean, that, that's not good commentary right there. So, 
That's my success with the XFL should do this time around. And, of course, they got to get rid of the Scrabble. Instead of the Scrabble, they got to do a regular coin toss. But over time, they should probably make a college football style, I think. I mean, I've been saying that to do that in the NFL for years, but hey, it is what it is. But for for the um, XFL, for, now they should fix overtime. You know when they say in the uh, NFL they should kick a field goal, the team gets another chance? The XFL should probably do is whoever scores a touchdown or a field goal on their first possession, the team gets another chance. But if the other team fails on the first time around, the other team wins. That's how I feel. That's I think that the way the XFL should work, personally. But I guess it, it will have to see what happens in the next couple of years. In the meantime, though, what I'm gonna do is um, don't worry. I might still make videos every week, not every now and then, because I heard about what YouTube is doing. You need like at least a thousand subscribers now, or something like that, or just to make money. But I'm not doing it for money. I'm just doing what I love to do personally. I mean, I never got 10,000 views to get money or anything like that. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm just doing it because I love to make my picks. I love talking about sports all the time, you know. It's probably like a hobby of mine or something. I'm just doing it for the hobby, you know. I'm not in it for the money, personally, you know. I, But, you know, it is what it is about what YouTube, but personally, kind of ridiculous at the same time. I mean, come on, you mean... Get like a thousand, like ten thousand views, and I get a thousand subscribers or something like that, or maybe comments, whatever the hell are they doing? I think that's kind of a little ridiculous on that part, but I think that I think you, I think we should probably like say something to Google or something. I think Google runs it now, I think, but I mean, I think it's kind of a little ridiculous what they do, but it, it is what it is. But you know, personally, I think that's another thing. But don't worry, I might do um sports news all. All next week during the off season, and of course, I'm gonna do like my March Madness bracket picks. I'm gonna be doing um that my NHL picks like I've done the last couple of years. I'm gonna be doing that all that what's going on, and of course, um we're gonna do my NBA Finals picks and predictions like I did last year. Oh, well, I did the finals. I didn't do all the way to the playoffs, which I had success to do that in the playoffs. So I'm gonna be doing that all around, you know. But I'm hoping the Bruins or the Celtics personally do something about you know, make another championship around Boston. We can use another title or two. What the hell? <laughs> but of course, I'm not much of a baseball guy. But you know, I might do a little. I'm not gonna do baseball picks. I might just do news around. Personally, I'm not gonna. I might do the standings about MLB predictions. But I'm not doing every week about baseball. It's a pain in the ass. You know, 162 games a week. That's too much. I mean, I can't. This is why I don't really get into baseball. I like going to the games. I just don't like watching it on TV. It's just like, that's a lot of games to watch. I mean, what the, I mean, yeesh. But, and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be trying to do something about it. I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm just giving my analysis about the thoughts about it. You know I mean, trying to get, trying to get my momentum going. And like, you know, I guess YouTube is like, what I'm trying to say is YouTube is like, like, um, trying to get all time wise or something like that. And you get people make videos all the time and everything like that. But. I'm just doing it because I like to do it. It just wasn't... I guess it's just meant to be for that, you know. So, that's what my plans are going on in the offseason for football. Of course, we're still going to be doing picks and spreads, everything. Question is, I, am I still going to do a podcast or anything? I'm still thinking hifty about it. I might do just do the podcast with football picks instead of doing it with the with my with the offseason and everything like that. That's how I'm going to be rolling it with this, but... It is what it is, and I'm going to be doing it like that. I am i don't know. I still haven't put thoughts I'm going to do podcasts with other stuff or not, but in my regular view. So I'm, I'm still debating about it, you know. But personally, I have a lot going on personally in my other, in my other personal life and everything like that. I mean, I've got other stuff going on. But, I have a, but we'll see what the future holds for me. I'm going down the road and go off from there. So... Uh, I will see you guys shortly soon, possibly maybe next week to do like a little sports news and everything like that. So I'm going to probably do that around. Maybe I'll get some news during the offseason too for the football. See if there any big names going to be free agent, big draft guy, guys are going to come out. I, I'm going to be doing all that. So I'm going to be doing what's going to happen. About my thoughts about the draft and what, we, what the Patriots should do, what the Eagles should do. Even what the Vikings and the Jaguars, what they should do to improve themselves. 
try to get back in the Super Bowl or anything, or at least go to the Super Bowl or anything like that. Or like teams like rebuilding mode, like the Bears, you know, Mitchell. I think he's a perfect fit in Chicago. I mean, they have a decent enough, he's a decent enough quarterback, I should say, but they need wide receivers, they need protection for Chicago if they want to threaten Green Bay, Detroit, and um, in Minnesota to get the NFC North. But, but there's a lot going to happen. I'm going to be still in the, um, when it comes after the Stanley Cup Finals and the NBA Finals, I'm definitely going to be doing the standings and early playoff predictions like I've been doing the last three years. I'm going to be doing all that, so. But there's a lot going on. I'm going to be giving you that, but. But we're going to be seeing how YouTube does this, but we're going to see how that one turns out. But, till then, hats off to the Eagles fans and TJ Herman and, and um, New Jack to all to them for a big um, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles. Your first championship since 1960. First championship in 10 years for the city of Philadelphia since the Philadelphia Phillies in 2008 when they won the World Series against Tampa Bay Rays. So congratulations to Philadelphia on that one. Truly really deserve it. I had a clap, so I mean, there's no denying that the Eagles were the better team, and they were they definitely had their dogs under, underdog facing with them. Hey, it is what it is. Until then, I'll see you guys all very. I'll see you guys all very soon. So then, keep your heads rolling. Let's keep um. Let's get the things rolling in the off season. Let's fight for YouTube. Fight for our rights for YouTube. That's what I should say. And see how the XFL. Any latest news on the XFL too? Well, if there's any big news on that. So, hey, till then, this is Andrew Warren, signing off. Peace.